This is Senior Master Coordinator Bob Ferguson, and I have with me my esteemed and marvelous birthday brother, Rusty Ost, master pharmacist, the guy who totally understands the actions of herbs in the mind and the body, and herbs and pharmaceuticals and nutrition and pharmaceuticals. And so, Rusty, I understand that if someone is a little confused about that and they want some help with interaction of nutrients and herbs and pharmaceuticals, they can uh, get a hold of you, can't they? That's right, they can. Good. They can. Rusty's also graced us for years with marvelous uh, you know, tapes back then and CDs and talks and Phytobites. Uh, and what, what's the web, web, website for Phytobites? Uh, there is isn't one. There isn't one, okay. So you have to get a hold of Rusty. I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. Think, I think we're gonna fix that, Rusty. I, 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 can, see, I can see we're, we're due for an upgrade. So we, uh, <laughs> tonight we're gonna be talking about herbs and the mind. And so without further ado, I turn it over to my esteemed birthday brother, Rusty Oast. All right, sir, thank you. I do, I do need to explain, to those of you who saw the, um, uh, Bob's post on Facebook. Uh, he had this cherry blossom tree that you see here. And uh, cherry blossoms reminds me of Washington, D.C. And it, it also reminds me of George Washington and the fact that he couldn't tell a lie. So I told Bob earlier, I had to tell him the truth. I stole this picture. <laughs> I'm sorry, I borrowed it because Pardon. Bob, when it's over, I'll give it back. That, that, that's just fine. We can handle All right, that. so we do want to talk about herbs in the mind because it's really, really important that we take care of our mind. And as we said earlier, everybody knows somebody that has dementia or Alzheimer's and they are extremely cruel, cruel diseases. And unfortunately, modern medicine, I believe, my opinion, you get my opinion on this show, uh, modern it's just that modern medicine has allowed the body to outlive the mind in many people. And so, you know, huge strides in things like cancer and heart disease and degenerative diseases. And if you think about the fact that uh, uh, when I was born, I don't know what life expectancy was, but it probably wasn't much over 60. You know, they set, they set retirement age of Social Security at 65 because they didn't forget anybody to live, that, live past that. And so anyway, we need, to, we need to take care. And so some of the things that, uh, some of the reasons to take care of your mind are, uh, you know, to get energy, to get performance, to get alertness and happiness. And up in the upper left-hand corner, you see distress. That's the bad kind of stress just as harmful to us in the lower right-hand corner is eustress, which is the good kind of stress. And both of them are detrimental. So, it, you know, sleep is important, uh, all of those things. And so we wanna talk about how to improve that. But I think in order to talk about Shackley and herbal remedies, we have to understand Shackley's position because it's not common uh, I would I would go on a limb and say it's almost unique their position, but when uh, Shackley introduced herbal remedies in Puerto Rico, 1994, there were I think maybe six of them that they introduced, and uh, they told us that, and they they started into this with a, with a lot of help from like the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy and and other herbal experts. And they just said that there were five criteria that they would follow to develop every herbal product. And so this was very interesting to me. I wrote them down and I remember them. But the first one is, is safety. And so that's kind of what we've taken for granted from Shackley all these years, is that their number one priority is our safety. And so, you know, don't you wish it was everybody's? because uh, certainly that's not true with a lot of companies and would probably with most every other company. But one of the things that attracted us to Shackley almost 40 years ago 
is the fact that uh, Shackley had just come out with their first weight loss product, and it was called Slim Plan. And huh, it, it, before it was brought out, had seven clinical studies run at places like uh, Georgetown School of Medicine, UCLA School of Medicine, not some guy's backyard bathtub, but these are, this is credible stuff. And so the, and the purpose of the clinical study was determined if it was safe first and foremost, then once they realized it was safe, they could, they could tweak the effectiveness and they've been doing that now for 40 years. And the, the latest, the, the latest and the greatest comes out tomorrow. So right. uh, that's their number one priority. So number two is a long herbal tradition. Uh, Shackley's not always the first to the marketplace with a with a new product, but we do know that if that if if that product makes it, it'll be not just good, but it'll be the best. The third criteria is understanding the chemistry related to the herb, and that's the the mechanism of action, the metabolic pathways. This is where biochemistry comes in, so that it's not just uh, I mean, it, it's one thing that we understand that herbs are safe and effective, but it's another thing to prove. So that's where that comes in. The fourth criteria is consistent quality and concentration. Uh, things like thin layer chromatography and high performance liquid chromatography. This is what we spent uh, two afternoons a week for an entire year studying in my pharmacognosy course, studying how to extract and, and looking at the fingerprint that every herb has. And so uh, then uh, finally, uh, the herbal combinations must, mass, must match existing science. And that just means the products are, uh, will do what they're supposed to do. Um, and uh, you know, that that's what the label says and that's what you get. And so this is where Shackley merges the the their science and and the magic to make this work and we need to think about Hahnemann's principle because this separates Shackley from most other companies once again and Dr. Hahnemann was the father of homeopathy which is the the science of of similars and so you know people get allergy shots to treat allergies things like that but uh Hahnemann's principle states that Combining certain products can lead to potentiation. And if you look at Shackley products, you very seldom find a single entity product. And it's because Shackley takes advantage of Dr. Hahnemann's principle to combine herbs that complement and even potentiate each other. So you get one plus one plus one maybe equals five, maybe it equals six, sometimes it equals multiples. And so uh, this is, these are the things that we have to remember if we're going to talk about Shackley herbs. So everybody, everybody has their way of looking at them. Um, this is the way I separate them. Some herbs are, are common. Uh, who's heard of cinnamon for lowering blood sugar levels or sage for improving memory or peppermint for uh, stomach problems or basil to fight infection or cayenne pepper for appetite control. Those things are common herbs. And uh, some of those you recognize as Shackley ingredients maybe. Others, you may be familiar with a name, but you don't think that they're in Shackley products. And you're right, because as much as there is hype in the marketplace about certain herbs that do certain things, remember with Shackley, it has to be proven. It's, we're not, Shackley is not going to provide it to the field just because it happens to be popular at the time. And so certain herbs I think should be consumed daily. This is my opinion. Uh, certain herbs are, are for target, target certain things. Uh, you know, that's a diagnostic preventive healthcare thing where you've got a, a product that will address a, a particular disease state. Herbs for occasional use, a lot of different things. So tonight, we're, what we're going to talk about tonight, the herbs that affect the mind, some of them are special needs, some of them are daily use, some of them are target solution, but they all affect the mind. So uh, these, are, these are my daily use herbs. Mental Acuity Plus, 
core energy and stress relief complex. And the reason that I think that uh, those herbs should be used daily is because I, they're so important for optimizing mental health that they really shouldn't be ignored, these three. So let's talk about, first of all, let's talk about mental acuity. And Bob has told me that starting this week, he is going to allow people to get on his uh, Zoom webcast after they pass a test. So you may want to take notes here on, <laughs> on these scientific names. Did I misunderstand, Bob? I no no that that uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll parking lot that. All right. So mental acuity is a combination of remember Hahnemann's principle, a combination of, of things like uh, ginkgo, and <clears throat> but first of all, why is it important? Well, it's important because our brain typically makes up two percent of our body mass and yet it requires 20% of the nutrition that we ingest. And so if, if circulation to the brain is compromised even a, even a little bit, the nutrition that you need isn't necessarily going to get to your brain. And so studies show that between the ages of 50 and 70 years, circulation to the brain decreases 70%. Is it a wonder that mental acuity diminishes as we age. And so let's look at these things like, like ginkgo. Uh, ginkgo is uh, approved by the German Commission E, which is a standard setting agency in, in Europe that we don't have one in this country anymore. So we have to use either the British Pharmacopeia or the German Commission E. Anyway, it's, uh, it's uh, approved for things like memory deficit and ringing in the ears and disturbances in concentration and a uh, headache. And uh, it's improved, it's, it's approved for improvement of distance and pain-free walking with people who have peripheral vascular disease. And it's also approved by them for vertigo or dizziness. And the German Commission E says there's no side effects to ginkgo. There are no herb drug interactions. And so that's pretty important when you think about a lot of people who are older are taking some prescription medications, maybe for heart disease or whatever. But the, her the other herbs in there like Hawthorne, um, you know, Im improves the blood flow to the brain. Uh, the Gatu Cola is noted for improving memory overcoming stress and fatigue. Bilberry, you know, we know that's uh, good for improving uh, the eyes. And it, uh, you know, it, it's used to treat things like cataracts and glaucoma in Europe. But uh, all, of these, all of these products support and, and act together to improve the circulation in our body and in, our, in the extremities of our body, hands, feet, things like that plus to the brain, and that's why it's so important. Uh, so uh, that's, I just think it's, it's so important that I would never, ever, ever, haven't missed a day since 1994 taking mental acuity, because it was one of the first six that came out. Next one we talk about is core energy, and this is another 1994 uh, vintage product, uh, contains, Cordyceps, ginseng, and green tea. And so cordyceps is a fungus. Uh, grows above 10,000 feet in mountainous regions. Uh, it's been used for thousands of years in, in Chinese herbal medicine. Reduces fatigue, enhances physical and mental performance uh, without causing drowsiness. Um, improves, uh, uh, you know, just Im improves a lot of things. Ginseng, it, there are two kinds of ginseng. The first kind, the type on, in this product, Panax ginseng. Panax ginseng is the Korean ginseng that is harvested from six-year-old roots. When, they, when the ginseng roots change from white to red, 
they can then harvest them. And it takes six years for that to happen. And uh, late in the 90s, ginseng, there was a big flood in China and it created a lot of fungus in the ginseng that was growing because, it, uh, because of the flooding. And so, do you know that, it, uh, and so Shackley refused to purchase ginseng that was tainted with the antifungal they used, which was quintazine. And uh, if you remember the fingerprint, the product has to match the fingerprint. And if the fungus is there, it doesn't match, Shackley won't buy it. So that this product was taken off the market for a while. But interestingly enough, do you know that a lot of that Korean ginseng today is still tainted with quintazine after all these years? And so, you know, what was the number one criteria? Our safety. So uh, until Shackley could get a quintazine-free raw material, we didn't have it. Uh, green tea reminds me of my grandmother. She wouldn't drink any kind of tea, but green tea. She didn't like black tea. And uh, it just so happens that, that she was right. The color of the tea is determined by the processing method, and green tea is most similar to having the quality of fresh, unprocessed leaves. Uh, and so, these three products, cordyceps, ginseng, and green tea, uh, will, will add energy. This is a true adaptogen. And so if people are sluggish and lethargic, core energy picks them up. If people are hyper, core energy slows them down. If people have low blood pressure, uh, core energy will improve the blood pressure. If people have high blood pressure, adaptogens cause blood pressure to be lower. It just is, it's an adaptogen and there are not very many. Panax ginseng is one of them. Uh, the next thing then, stress relief. Uh, why? why stress relief every day? Well, the American Medical Association told us that Americans are under stress 97% of the time. 97. And 100% of all degenerative disease is directly related to the stress in our bodies. So right there is reason enough. A uh, combination of, of L-theanine, which is a free form amino acid, uh, again found in green tea. Uh, it, it produces uh, mental and or physical relaxation without drowsiness. The beauty of this product is that it relieves stress without drowsiness. The ashwagandha, strong, strong anti-stress properties, both physical and mental. And it's been used for thousands of years, and it's celebrated as a rejuvenating tonic to boost energy, stamina, and vigor. Beta cytosterol is the major plant sterol, the major phytosterol that's found in most plants. It boosts, it boosts the immune system by blunting the response of cortisol. Cortisol naturally occurs in our body and when we're under stress, our body begins to produce cortisol uh, because uh, cortisol feeds the flight or fight, flight or fight syndrome. So it's important that we have it, but too much causes a lot of harm. And so beta cytosterol blunts the action of that. And so here you have a product that not only reduces stress, but causes an increase in mental acuity. And it's just because we're under stress so much and cortisol is so damaging, I just believe it's important that we consider adding it to our daily use uh, herbs. So now we're gonna go to some target solution herbs. These are things like mind works, things like gentle sleep, mood lift. And I think that we need to talk about these because today many people are using natural products like Shackley Herbal Remedies to target specific conditions. Doesn't mean every one and doesn't mean every day, but these are, are products that can, can help a lot of people. 
All right. So let's talk about mind works first. Uh, did you know that at the age of 20, our brain starts to shrink? So many things are affected. We didn't talk about vivid. So many things are, are affected by the aging process. And, you know, this, this is our brain is one of them. And so uh, mind work protect, protects against this age-related mental decline. And the, the, the best part of it is you don't have to wait weeks or months for it to start happening. The benefits immediate. Uh, according to a pilot study that showed that after just one use, mind works enhanced healthy circulation, which is fundamental to brain function. Remember, 2% versus 20%. It's a known fact that, uh, that, you know, that, that our brain requires all that nutrition. And so when it's compromised, it just doesn't work as well. Uh, the smart proprietary blend contains things like uh, Chardonnay grape extract. Uh, it's the, it seeds from exclusively Chardonnay grapes because they contain a chemical compound with polyphenols that improve brain function. And the, the amount in the seeds is tiny, just 12 parts in 10,000 parts. And Shackley takes advantage of this to, uh, to, to improve the product. Um, Gorana has been used by the Amazonian Indians for centuries uh, for alertness and, and optimal health. Uh, I, I don't know whether this is accurate or not, but I've, I've found that mental exercise helps me, and I think it helps a lot of people. And uh, we, our muscles atrophy if we don't continually exercise them, and I believe our mind starts to atrophy if we don't use our mind. So, there are a lot of puzzles available online or uh, newspapers. I particularly like the ones in the paper. And, you know, I do better on the days that I take mind works. So I don't know if that's certainly not a, uh, that, that would be called an anecdotal study. But Rusty's clinical study says the, the puzzles in the newspaper work better when you use mind works. <laughs> Okay, gentle sleep. This is an interesting product. Takes, takes advantage of Dr. Hahnemann's theory of potentiation because valerian, chamomile, and passion flower all cause drowsiness. What's gentle sleep for? It's supposed to cause drowsiness, you know? And valerian root, which is sort of the valium of the 19th century in the drugstore, we called Valium vitamin V because it was so important. Uh, not It wasn't important, it was just overused. But valerian's been the subject of 6,000 clinical studies in Europe. And in many, in many countries, and I'm not talking third world countries, I'm talking about countries where uh, the, the uh, Eastern philosophy of medicine is practiced more than than it is here, a lot of these products are the drug of choice. Only we can't call them drugs because we, we're affiliated, you know, our brand partner is a nutritional products manufacturer. But in Europe, valerian's a drug and it's used all the time for sleep. It's the drug of choice and it is so closely matched to the benzodiazepines structurally and the benzodiazepines, is, that's Valium and Librium and a, a lot of, of newer ones. But uh, it, it actually, and th those products are uh, either habituating or addicting, depending on who you talk to and what their opinion is at the time. But they use Valerian to, to get people off of benzodiazepines, just like uh, Narcan works against uh, opioids. Valerian works against the benzodiazepines. So, you know, as when the, the body is supposed to relax during sleep, that's the purpose of the sleep. And so 
Uh, valerian is, is a good relaxing agent and uh, it doesn't interact with other sedatives like alcohol. And uh, the, the chamomile is, just helps, you know, it treats mild sleep disorders, especially good in children. Uh, passion flower used to alleviate insomnia. Three tablets is the serving size, and we should maybe talk about that since we're talking about herbs and Rusty failed to mention it at the beginning. The herbs, uh, Shackley herbal remedies do not have a dose because dose is a term that is uh, explicitly for pharmaceuticals. And so Shackley instead has a serving size. So with, the ex with gentle sleep as an example, the serving size is three tablets. So if you want the result to be what you've read about and what we've talked about and uh, deeper sleep, better sleep, more relaxing, then a serving size is what will produce that intended result. There are studies that have shown that a less than serving size might be more appropriate to calm someone down or to alleviate anxiety. And it has worked very well for some of our customers to do just that. So rather than taking three tablets to go to sleep at night, they'll take one tablet maybe in the morning and another one later in the, later in the day. But uh, that's the serving size. Okay, what's next? Mood lift. Well, that's just like putting a little sunshine in your day. It has St. John's work. And you know, a lot of people have heard of Hippocrates and Hippocrates actually prescribed St. John's work for himself. Today it's used first and foremost to treat and not a treat, to address mild depression, not clinical, not clinically depressed people, but mild depression. And in a, a series of double blind controlled studies that indicated an extract of St. John's wort was as effective as prescription antidepressants, but had far fewer side effects. I've always thought it was interesting that prescription antidepressants would normally be prescribed for people who are clinically depressed. Do you know one of the side effects is suicide? And I'm thinking, why would you give someone who's clinically depressed something, a, a drug that has it has a side effect of of suicide it just you know doesn't make sense this this product does not do that this has the other ginseng by the way siberian ginseng which is uh oh, i don't put it on there it's eleutherococcus is the is the uh panax is the korean and eleutherococcus is the is the siberian but it's endorsed as a tonic for invigorating and fortifying the body Promote a general feeling of well-being, a little sunshine in your day. It's a mild stimulant and a general tonic that reinforces the body's ability to handle stress. But great. And then green oats also provides additional nutritional support just for a sense of well-being. And so uh, I have probably talked about long enough but I would like to say that when you feel mentally strong, you'll be able to rise to whatever challenge you face. Mental strength isn't just for hard times, however. It's also critical to managing stress in everyday life. As your mental strength increases, you'll gain confidence in your ability to deal with whatever problems you face. This came from an article in Success Magazine, and it talks about uh, the reasons for mental strength because it conquers self-doubt. It keeps you motivated. It helps you tune out unhelpful advice. It ensures that you'll learn from your mistakes. It provides courage to face your fears. We all got those. Assists you in bounding back from failures 
and helps you to regulate your emotions. So I rest my case. I do believe still and strongly that mental health today is something that we really need to focus on because this has not been an easy time for any of us. And the stronger we are, you know, it's great to have a strong immune system, but if your mind, you know, if you're, if you're depressed or you're sluggish or whatever, you know, we need to take care of our mind as well as our body. So, uh, birthday brother, I'll turn it back to you. <clears throat> Very good. And what we'll do is uh, we'll drop it over here. And so if anyone uh, would like to, let's see, I, I saw one lower, one raised hand. You have a little thing in your, in your, in your, over in your side that says uh, raise your hand. So if you want to raise your hand, uh, then uh, go ahead. Or if you want to just type in a question in the chat, that's, uh, that also is good. So either way. You know, it's so fascinating. I'll just uh, point out a couple things that I think I learned. Um, so I got two out of three out of your dailies. Um, I, uh, I use uh, Core Energy every day, and it's hard to know because I use so many things. Uh, uh, but I want to give myself every possible advantage because I got big physical uh, goals between now and the time I'm 70 on, on our birthday, our mutual birthday, the 9th of September. So I'm, I'm giving myself every mental and physical edge I can possibly give myself. In the last point, so I'm, I'm going to add mental acuity. I've got stress relief and I got cordyceps. Uh, stress relief I use primarily, I use it at night. If I wake up and ruminate or whatever, I take one or two stress relief, I'm not like a light. Um, so anyway, I'd, I, and I, and I do use mental, I, do, I, I have used MindWorks on a daily basis and I notice it when I don't take it. So for me, I've kind of adopted that as, a, uh, as an all time one, but I'd, I, I think uh, this is one where we're gonna edit it up and I think that it would behoove anyone to listen to this thing a couple, two or three times to think about what are the issues that you face? Because the last point you made, Rusty, is so incredibly important. My dear sainted mom <laughs> always pointed out, you know, she had her political views and all that, but the what she would one thing she would say is that, can you imagine how much better our government be would be if all those people at Washington took good shackly food supplements and their bodies and their minds worked better? <laughs> go, go, mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is uh, very true. And, and you know, it, it, we can make a joke out of it, but we can only deal with the junk of our life through our mental structures. And they're very dependent on our physical structures. But uh, there are things that act directly on our mind. And, and that's, uh, it's, it's super important to pay attention to that, isn't it? Well, and more than that, it's super important to pay attention to it today because your mind tomorrow is not as good as it is today. And we just have to, you know, we, we, we build our muscles. I think we can build our brain muscles too. And I just think it's, I think it's so important. Absolutely, that's why I, I include a half an hour. My goal is a half an hour and I'm gonna move it back up, it used to be an hour of of classical guitar practice. And this is doing stuff that's difficult. It's sight reading. I don't know where the notes are, a little fine um, motor coordination. But I'll tell you, Rusty, if I slack off on that, I do not feel as whole in my life. If I finish the day with a half an hour of music that pleases my ear, but I think what's really going on is that it's exercising my brain. Yes, it is. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, working the frets on the guitar is a little bit of exercise, but not a whole lot. Not but, a whole uh, lot. Particularly if you learn how to play. <laughs> it's amazing how light your touch can be on the fretboard and still have a clear sound. But that, sure. that, 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 that's either here or there. Now, let me, let me see if I have any. I saw one raised hand. Okay. 
So yeah, mood lift works wonders for me. Yeah, I remember when uh, stress relief was on back order, someone put it in a chat, uh, you know, just get me my stress relief and no one gets hurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So any, oh, go, oh, yeah, play Bach for my brain exercises. Yeah, just playing, just hearing music helps organize. And if you make it, man, that's, that's really something. So, uh, Rusty, I think uh, I'm not seeing any, okay, uh, let's see here. I fall asleep quickly, but okay. So Susan in Tucson says, I tend to fall asleep quickly, but I wake up too early. In other words, kind of wake up maybe an hour or two earlier. Is that it, Susan? What, uh, what can Susan do that would help that? Well, I don't know what Susan's doing now. Uh, is, Susan, is Susan currently taking uh, gentle sleep? Yeah, Susan, you can pop that in there. Are you taking, you know, what, what, what which of the products? Okay, okay, you take Recover. Well, that's, that's for your muscles. Uh, so, you know, for your muscle recovery. But uh, would you say in general, uh, if someone is either having trouble falling asleep or they can fall asleep, but they wake up, gentle sleep complex might be what they might want to try? Gentle sleep would be what they might want to try because gentle sleep has, it does two things. Number one, it helps people go to sleep. You know, it's, it's not, a, it's not a, uh, a downer like a barbiturate or a, a narcotic. And so I prefer to say that it allows people to sleep rather than putting them to sleep. Yeah. And so, but it also helps people stay asleep longer because it, it uh, has that relaxing side benefit mm -hmm. that helps people stay relaxed and breathe easier. And, uh, you know, the, the mind's not working a gazillion miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, that, that seems to be the thing to avoid. Um, okay, uh, so Chris, what do you say about taking 5,000 IU of vitamin D in one tablet versus a few small, smaller IU tablets? Some people think more in one tablet is easier and must be better. Uh, so general vitamin E, vitamin D recommendations, now you can get a vitamin D test and find out what your vitamin D levels are. But in general, what would the average person, if they just wanted to kind of make sure that they probably probably had enough for them? Well, typically uh, D, and, uh, D and E are both fat soluble vitamins. All right. So they're stored in the body. And I've read a lot of studies about vitamin E that stipulate that, well, first of all, when a person starts taking vitamin E, the first reaction is vasoconstriction. So the peripheral capillaries constrict. And so for very, uh, it's not instantaneous, but for a very, very short period of time, blood pressure actually goes up. And then it, uh, and then it begins to go down with vitamin E. But I think that, um, and I, I'm sure that people would disagree, and that's okay. But I can't, I don't see much need for more than four a day. Oh, about about 4,000 units. No, that would be 400 units of vitamin E, 1,600 units. Did you say E, easy? Oh, yeah, I said vitamin E. E, yeah, so, so 400 IU of E, which is what our vitamin E product is, right? Yeah. And so anyway, uh, shouldn't be, you know, it's, it's hard to justify taking more than four a day. Vitamin D, on the other hand, is so easy to titrate with blood levels. And if people don't get their blood levels ever taken by their doctor, then I would say, uh, you know, one or two a day, certainly, regardless of where you live. I live in Florida, the sunshine state, the vitamin D state. And uh, I take two a day. Oh, good. Okay, good. Uh, someone said that uh, mental acuity started to bother a customer's uh, stomach and she stopped taking it. What do you... What is it? But, uh, I, mental acuity uh, oh. started to bother a customer's stomach. Um, I guess I would say that it, that was uh, uh, serendipitous that 
I would suggest they try it again. Shouldn't be anything in there that would uh, affect that at all. Okay, so maybe, maybe again, you, your email is rustyost at gmail.com. Yeah, any, Gmail or Yahoo, either one. Yeah, I, I, I'll just type that in the chat, rustyost at gmail.com. Uh, if anyone has specific questions like that, uh, I hope I'm not uh, speaking out of turn that Rusty people can email them to you and you can demand. Depends on the question. Sometimes I, uh, you know, I, I have to respect Shackley's yes. stance. And so right. Prescription. sometimes people want me to prescribe and right. I cannot do that. Right. But if someone really has an issue, then they can engage you on a professional Absolutely. As yes. a pharmacist. And then, then where you take your Shackley hat off and put your pharmacist hat on. Good. All right. Good. Well, uh, all right, folks. Uh, it's almost 830. And Rusty, thank you very much. How about a... Uh, out of a round of a round of nice uh, thank yous, we've they've been coming in. We've had a lot of a lot of great thank yous coming in, but uh, uh, this really was another stellar presentation and the one that I think people are going to find extremely helpful. So, within the so. yeah, when, within 24 hours, I'll have it uh, posted. Uh, now everyone knows that there's the Shackley Talks YouTube channel. If you just go to YouTube and type in Shackley Talks. It should pop right up. There's also a, it, you know, the podcast doesn't have anything but the uh, audio track on it, but I'd also put everything up on a podcast. And that podcast is also originally called Chatley Talks. So you can just go to any, I like Stitcher, but I don't know why. Uh, I just go to, if you, you type in Stitcher, Shackley Talks, it'll, it'll pop right up. So, okay, folks, thank you very much. Rusty, as always, it's a pleasure. We're going All right, Bob. Continuing to feature you every two or three months, you're going to be coming on and uh, enlightening us. So thank you all for participating, and we will see you later on. Take care. Bye.